Hello everyone, it is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And today we will be cooking red curry chicken. Um, I will leave the link uh, to the meal prep video in the description box so you guys can see what products I use, what red curry brand I use. All of that will be in the meal prep video and the link will be in the description channel. It is a Thai, it's a Thai red curry. Um, so let me show you the chicken. It's just the drumsticks. I got two family packs of drumsticks. I love using the drumsticks when I fix my curry chicken. And this has been marinating in the uh, red curry uh, for two days. Yes, two days because I wanted to make sure, well, a day and a half. But I wanted to make sure that the chicken got all the flavors from the curry. And let me give you guys a close up look at that goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It looks delicious. I tasted the red curry. It tastes amazing. Really good. Got a little cake to it. Um, okay. All right. I've got some plantains. This is the Publix brand. Publix brand is really good. I got a box of the uh, Publix plantains. Um, I've got some Publix instant white rice. Y'all know I fixed that. That cooks in like five minutes. And I got these Tasteful Selection gar Garden Herb Fresh Bite Sized Potatoes with a garden blend of garlic, parsley, red bell pepper, and onion. The perfect side dish. Uh, this is, they've got it in the container. You can microwave this, but you guys will see how I'm gonna use this. So, yeah, it comes with like a little seasoning packet and everything. So, let me go ahead. Let me get to the chicken. I've got my pan over here already cleaned up and ready. Let me adjust you guys over here. Cause we jumping right into this. So take you guys right over here. Cause I'm getting ready to get that chicken down in the pan. Okay. All right. Y'all ready? I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken here. I do want to spray my pan. Spray my pan, keep my chicken from sticking. Make sure I spray it real good, especially with this sauce, you know. All right. We got that all sprayed real good. Okay. Let's get our chicken in. That's what we're going to do first. Get our chicken in. All right. So, okay. You guys can see. I'm telling you guys. And I also cut up onions and put it in with the uh, red curry sauce. Y'all got to see that meal prep video. You got to see the meal prep video. So make sure you guys, you know, go to the um, description box for that. I mean, the chicken's been marinating for two days, day and a half, whatever, two days. And um, because I seasoned them early in the morning, so two days. And um, they are ready to be cooked. They have been soaking in the juices. I've got a lot of chicken, so definitely gonna have to squeeze this in. All right. I wanted this to be the main focus of the video. Me showing you guys how I'm, you know, getting this all trade up. I want to make sure the, okay, get my chicken out here. And my chickens, I'm just doing one up, one down, one up, one down, as you guys can see. One up, one down on the chicken. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, and I sprayed my pan. You know, just so my chicken doesn't stick. Because, you know, it's a lot of sauce. So, me spraying my pan is going to help. Help it be easy to get this chicken out. Smells delicious. Oh, smells so good. Get 
all our chicken in here because you know once the chicken starts cooking it's going to shrink a little bit so Let's squeeze everything in here all right like i said this is two family packs of chicken so it's a lot of chicken Hold on one second. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. I like letting um whatever meats I'm cooking, I like letting them uh, marinate, you know, for a couple of days or a day. At least a day. I like to let my meat at least marinate for a day. I mean, but two days, mm, 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 mm. Two days, delicious. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Make sure I get all my chicken out of here. Mm, those onions smell so good. So good. Okay. All right. Okay, let me see how many pieces I got left. I got to squeeze some more pieces in here, so scoop that over. See if I can get a, one of the bigger pieces in here. Okay, that worked. All right, now I got a couple more pieces of chicken. How many I got left in here? Because I got to get them in here, too. All right. A couple more pieces. See if I can get one more squeezed in up here. I'm telling you, it's like playing Tetris with this Tetris, what they call it? That game, Tetris? Something like that. That crazy game. Like building. Alright, so let's get this over here. Okay. Alright, good, good. Okay, I got three pieces left in here. Gotta get them in here. Uh, let me see. Let's put one this way. Okay, scoop that up. Scoop that up. I got one more piece to squeeze in here. Gotta squeeze it in there. Okay, alright, that's good. That's good. That's perfect. Okay, we got it all in there. Let me bring you guys in so you can... Get the full effect of that chicken. Mm-hmm. Looks delicious. Take y'all in a little bit more. I'm telling you, it's been marinating for two days. All right. I'm not going to say that again. I probably will. But anyway. All right. Let's see. Now, the next thing I'm going to do. Let me make sure you guys are watching. Okay. Let me bring you guys over here so you can see what I'm going to do next. Okay. So you see my sauce that I have left in the bowl. Bring y'all over so y'all can see. Okay, now hold on. I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do. I already got my oven. Oh, let me tell you guys. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Didn't wanna do 350 because this is a lot of chicken. Uh, so I've got it. Uh oh, sorry y'all, hold on. 365 something sorry 375 I'm gonna bake it for about an hour I'll see if that's gonna be long enough okay I'm getting my potatoes open like I said they you can get this I got this from Publix and it's already in like a pre like in a uh, microwavable container you can microwave it let me get these open as you can see it says here microwave in five and a half minutes right here but I'm not gonna do that show you guys what I'm doing. I'm putting the potatoes right in here with the chicken so they can get all cooked up and see it comes with a little seasoning packet on it. Now what I'm gonna do, let me get this open first. Get this packet open. I'm gonna rock these potatoes off real quick. Y'all know I gotta wash these potatoes. So y'all give me a 
Okay. Get the potatoes open. I'm gonna wash these potatoes off real quick. real good okay all right so we got our potatoes washed really good all right they washed off really good let me sit the potatoes over here so you guys can see yeah I'll just sit you guys like this so y'all can see what I'm doing okay we got our potatoes over here I got my season packet I'm gonna go ahead and get the season packet cut open it's like a, it's like a garden flavor, so. All right. Okay, we got the season open, and the potatoes are a little wet, because of course I wash them off, but that's great. I need that, so that this season has something to stick to. All right, so we got that. The potatoes are all seasoned up. Let me get a spoon. Let's get this season all over our potatoes. Yeah, you guys can see. Just gonna, oh, that smells so good. Oh yeah, that's a nice uh, garlicky, onion, pepper kind of season. They said it's a garlic blend. Okay, that works, it smells good. I'm gonna make sure I get them all coated in this little season packet that came with the potatoes. Okay, that was, that was something good for me because when I saw it, I said this would be perfect to add to the curry chicken. Some nice soft potatoes. I'm going to add it to the chicken so that way it cooks up with the chicken. Oh, all right, y'all. Y'all just bear with me because, all right, look at that. Oh, they're all nice and seasoned up. Oh, yeah. Those look good. All right, so. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the potatoes in my curry sauce. Make sure I get all those seasons in there. So this is gonna be full of flavor. Okay. So you see I've got the potatoes in the curry sauce. I'm just gonna mix the potatoes up in the curry sauce. Make sure they get nice and coated. Also, that season blend that's on the potatoes, oh, all of that's going to be on here. Oh, that's going to be good. This is almost going to be like a one pan meal. <laughs> okay, so I've got that done. Let me scoot you guys over so you can see what I'm doing. All right, over to the chicken. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead Pour these potatoes in here. Yeah, we gotta squeeze the potatoes in here too. This curry sauce. Yeah, all of that. Get all of that in there. Okay, so we'll put these potatoes like in the little pockets that we got, the little spaces that we got. We'll go ahead and get these potatoes in there. Down in those little crevices. Ooh, they all seasoned up. Let's squeeze them in there. We got our sauce, extra sauce. This is gonna cook up real good. Let's get some potatoes over here. Little cute uh, little potatoes, like the red and green ones. When I saw this, I said, oh, that's just what I need for the curry chicken. Make sure we get these potatoes spread around. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Okay, let's get a potato over here. Okay, looks like we got our potato spread around good enough. Mm, okay. Alright. Get my hands clean. 
Okay. Let me zoom. Oh, y'all see how it's looking. All right. Now, I'm going to take this Trader Joe's Green Goddess Seasoning Blend. I've been using this. I'm addicted to it. It's so good. I'm going to use that just to give us a little color and seasoning across the top of this. I'm telling you, this is going to be full of flavor. Oh, so good. Mm, mm, mm. So good. All right. I'm going to take y'all in real good so y'all can see it before I go. Look at all that goodness. Y'all can't tell me that's not going to be good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, stick it in the oven. Um, I was going to cover it with aluminum foil, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead because it's too much juices. It, it, I don't think it needs to be covered up. So, Because um, our chicken is nicely coated. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven, like I said, for about an hour and see how it does. I'll let you guys know. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in the oven because it's ready. And then we'll move on to our rice and our plantains. All right, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, I am back with my rice i love this quick easy rice my water is boiling that's five cups of water and uh, my box gives me a uh, full five cups of rice so we're gonna dump it all in there gonna cut our heat off cut the stove off i love a quick rice y'all know i have cooked a quick rice a million times on my channel i love it I sure do. Nice, quick rice. My water is boiling. I'm gonna throw a little, little pink salt in there. Little pink salt. And I have the Badia pink Himalayan salt. Okay. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. We don't wanna do too much. Just a little, little salt. Like a table, like a teaspoon of salt. Not that much teaspoon of salt because you guys know salt goes a long way all right we got that mixed up real good oh yeah all right we got our stove off cover that up and about five minutes we'll have rice that's what i'm talking about they're making it too easy for us all right let's move over to our plantains our plantains all right, I love the Publix brand. It's that aluminum foil. Let me put you guys over this way. Because the aluminum foil kind of contrasts the light, you know. Okay, that's, yeah, that's better. Okay, let's get these plantains open. All right, let's see. And I did put aluminum foil down, you know, make it less messy. And I also sprayed my pan with oil. Uh, with my Pam oil so that my uh, plantains don't stick to my uh, Pam or to my aluminum foil. All right, and this is how they come. How they come. Frozen. I keep them frozen, of course. All right, let me get this container cut open. I have two packs, but I'm not going to cook both. I'm only going to cook one because I added potatoes. So, yeah. The plantains, you know, you can't have curry without plantains, you know. So, and I got those potatoes that's cooking with the chicken, so. And it's smelling really good in there, y'all. Smelling really, really good. So, you just kind of come frozen stuff together. I just break them apart and spread them out. They're easy to break apart. You know, I think I'm gonna do that other box. Yeah, cause this isn't that many. I know me and the girls will eat these up. Let me wash my hands. I'm gonna get that second box of plantains. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking with this one box. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I'm digging out this second box of painting. 
maintains. Putting tunnels. Ugh. Okay. All right, my second box. Okay. All right, so I got my second box. I don't know what I was thinking at one box. Um, I forgot I got like the smaller box. Publix has a larger box, but I went with the, two of the smaller boxes. Getting it open. All right, okay. Let's move these. Oh, we got it. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got to get these in here. And for this to be, you know, Publix brand, they're, they're, they are pretty good. I forgot the name of that other brand I really like. Because theirs are really, really good. I love cooking plantains when I cook curry. It's like I can't have curry without the plantains. Like, they just, they just go together. The curry, the rice. Gotta have... Ugh. break it they usually not so hard to get apart but okay we just gonna leave that like that for now now let me see if I can try to break it nah, it's a little frozen all right so we'll let that cook a little bit get a little heat on it and then I'll break it up so all right, you guys see the rice and the plantains. They are, the rice is ready already. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these plantains in the oven uh, with the uh, chicken. So, all right, y'all. When I come back, it's gonna be the grand finale. All right, y'all. Okay, guys, we are back. I just pulled everything out of the oven. I'm gonna take you guys into that red curry chicken first. Oh my goodness, looks amazing. All right, let's move over to the plantains. And our rice back there, nice and fluffy. All right, guys, you see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, guys. Bye.